Welcome to Comfort Havoc number two. So, you've probably seen the blooper reel of this, so we're going to try this again. So, I'm pretty sure I'm right that I screwed up. And if I'm not right, then we're going to say that I'm right. And if I'm wrong, we're going to say that I'm wrong so that this video will have some continuity of me apologizing to all of you who have come for Havoc number two because of the simple fact that um, I posted a video about Sistema because it's a martial art I never heard of before until recently. So like as of 2020, like deep in 2020, as in like maybe three or four months ago, I've heard about it, but I don't, you know, had no visual. So I found some videos on it. But what I thought was Sistema was Krav Maga, what I thought was Krav Maga was actually Sistema. At least I think that's what I did in that video. So for the sake of argument, we're going to say I'm wrong. And this is my apology. So apparently this is Sistema. So the title's in the thing. And I believe that I, um, I did this. And where's that damn thing? And that. So this is what I thought was Krav Maga, but this is actually Sistema. And I did a critique on people don't running at you with e-tools and stuff like that, because there's going to be a guy in here who's going to come at one of these soldiers with an e-tool. And some of the stuff is practical. Some of the stuff have other martial arts related into it. But you actually have to be a martial artist to actually... Um, be able to identify the turning round kicks of Taekwondo, the judo throw, etc, etc. But I thought this was Kamaga. So, and clearly the title's somewhere up there. And so, I screwed up. You know. And then... I need to stop the damn thing. It's only like a minute and 40 sec seconds or something. Alright. And then these two guys who I thought was Sistema, was actually Krav Maga. Which it says so right down there. Now, with me in all my glory, I did a critique on this as well, because I specifically said that this guy over here will be rechambering the gun or whatever, even though the gun wasn't real in some of the clips, and how I highly recommend it. Um, you just don't try that shit. No, nine times out of ten, if somebody has a gun, they're scared that you're going to do something stupid, so they're going to shoot you anyway. So just give them what they want. You know, I'm not, like, I'm not against you fighting, you know, if, like, your life or your child life depend on it, but you would probably be better off just giving them what they want. You are not Jean-Claude Van Damme or Steven Seagal. And, and I want to talk about that. I will make a movie video about um, disarms. I don't have anybody who dis to disarm. And then this other Stemma system that I haven't watched, I was going to show you guys as well. But um, I was so damn confused on the whole thing. So this here is also some more Sistema. And as a soldier, I was not taught this crap when I was in the army. But apparently this is going to teach you a knife this arm. And the knife is clearly on the guy's hand. Which clearly in real life... That's an artery, actually, so he will probably get cut, you know, because this, this, this slow motion shit, life don't work like that, you know, I guess, I know he's giving them a run through, but you know, there's only yay so many ways people can stab you, because you know, you have this way, this way, and then you have the cuts that way, and then you have the upper cut, so you know, um, I'm against incorrect knife disarms because when I was in the army they did not teach me that they didn't teach us knife disarmaments at all because they told us you know muzzle thump and if you're that close to someone where you have to muzzle thump them you need to either be going in covertly or you know just shoot the guy so as you can watch this this knife disarmament technique um I did actually learn knife disarmament from Master Ennis in Taekwondo class. And um, it's almost like the movies, but the problem is that when you start off practicing, you start off at like slow speed. And eventually you're supposed to pick up speed, pick up speed, pick up speed. But in real life, there's no slow speed. You know, there's just, um, guy has a knife, good luck. You know, now it, 
in all honesty, I don't recommend knife disarms any more than I recommend a gun disarm. I mean, to be honest, you can take your chances. I mean, you really can take your chances. But um, if you've never, ever been taught how to knife disarm, it's not a good idea to watch these videos and attempt to do this shit because these knives are rubber knives, you know. And it, it, it's fine to practice with a rubber knife because the danger is still simulated. But the point of the matter is, um, it's a good chance that you could lose your life trying to disarm a guy with a knife. I mean, l let's keep the shit real. I mean, as a martial artist, um, I'm going to tell you something that most martial artists aren't going to tell you. Because I'm going to tell you the fucking truth, alright? This is how this works. This is a big ass Gerber. Alright? This is more like a machete than a knife. Alright? So you got my arm times the size of the blade. And if I'm double handing this bitch, you're gonna have to come in low and catch my wrist. But I have two. And I can come down or I can twitch that bitch up. And you're gonna have a problem. Alright? I mean, let, let's, let's, let's just be real about the shit. You're gonna have a fucking problem. And it's more than likely that I'm going to cut you twice before you get this shit out of my hand. Maybe three or four times before you get that shit out of my hand. Or before you actually get stabbed to death. Alright? Because the thing about, about any kind of knife, alright? Get a few pick stickers out. Okay, I can't find my um, regular average ass knife. Okay, anyway. So this is a knife. It's a small knife, but it's still long enough to go across an arm and cut an artery. This thing is dull as fuck, so we have no worries there. Please do not attempt to do anything that you see me dealing with in this video. This is probably the sharpest knife I have out. I used to be good at that. Not anymore. <laughs> Old age, man. So this knife is the more the knife that you are more likely to get stabbed with as long as the person's using it. It's not trying to do all this fancy, you know, that kind of shit because that can probably cut their fucking hand. This knife you would probably get stabbed with because it's small and you won't see it coming because, you know, you see my hand. I got the knife. I'm not, like, right up in your face with the knife. You're probably not going to see this knife. So it's going to cut you. Plus, this is the bottom. So the knife should have been held like that. You know, just so that you guys weren't going to say, Hey, James, you're not holding that knife right. Exactly. I wasn't holding a knife. But see, when you're about to stab somebody, no one gives a shit if you're holding the knife where the bottom of the blade or the top of the blade is in that person's face. That person that you're about to stab, damn sure is not going to notice give a shit. This knife was given to me by my cousin. It's also a freaking air file. But either way it can be used as a knife. So, you no. Know, you kind of don't want to have to deal with that shit. Now these are, um, show knives, but you can still hurt somebody with a knife that is a prop because it's still a knife. You no. Know, these are my double bears. You no. Know, big bear, little bear. Now this one, you could probably stab somebody with. Probably piss them off. Unless you hit something fatal. 
And same thing with this. No, I mean, it, but if you're going to use a knife on anybody, you really want to aim at stuff that you actually can do damage to. Most likely arteries or um, the throat. No. But um, I'm going to be honest with you because the shit that I just showed you in these videos. Um, when someone's coming at you with a knife, it's a good chance that you're going to get cut or stabbed. So you should probably, like Ramsey Dewey and every person else that lives in reality tells you, just give them your wallet. Just, just give it to them. I'm not going to tell you to fight. You know, I mean, you got a better chance of walking away with someone with a knife than you do um, trying to stand and fight someone with a knife. Because a lot of things can go wrong with a knife. Just like a lot of things can go wrong with a gun. Um, you might not get shot, but the people you're trying to protect might get shot just because you decided to fucking be a hero. There are places where you can be a hero, and there are places where you cannot, and it would behoove you all to know the difference, because there are some places where, right, if the guy's holding somebody hostage and you're close enough to them where you can walk right up on them and they don't notice you until it's too late, then... You know, you can probably take your chance. And the key to that was you can probably take your chance. Um, but when the gun is at you and someone you care about, I strongly advise you to just give them your fucking wallet. You know, give it to them. Because they can't get into your, your, your credit cards without um, the money. And then 9 times out of 10, um, your ATM card without a code won't work. You know? So, um... I will put it to you that you can um you can take two chances, you know. You can take your chance and possibly end your life and someone else's life that you care about, or you can just be logical and just give them the damn knife. Now, the whole reason why I was making this apology video was because of Sistema and um Krav Maga. These are two martial arts that I've never heard of. Up until this year, and along with the Filipino martial art, I've also never taken these three. And as I like to tell people, my martial arts background are pretty much Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and the tiny bit of Thai um, martial arts. So, you know, um, for Thai fighting. But other than that, you know, um, I didn't know the Philippines had a martial art. I didn't know Russians had a martial art. And um, apparently, Sistema Krav Maga both are Russian. I know Jennifer Lopez did Krav Maga in the movie enough, but um, as far as like me exploring that shit, I was like, eh, you know, I don't really think it's for me. But I also learned Brazilian Jiu Jitsu when I was in the army. I also know that I suck at it, and you know, I'm not gonna lie about it. So thanks for watching.